The Green Goblin. I created the Green Goblin with cake by making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Still looks pretty cool, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is William Defoe. Willem? Willem Defoe? William? Mm, I gotta Google that. D A U? D A F O E? Is that it? My name is Willem Defoe. Welcome back to Koali Pops. Today we're making the Green Goblin. So, most of the stuff I watch on YouTube is movie based. And I don't really care about spoilers. I read a lot of spoiler news. I knew that he was gonna be the Green Goblin in Spider Man No Way Home like way back. That did not keep me from getting extremely excited. I almost peed my pass in the movie theater. I risked my life uh, to go into a regular movie theater, not a drive-in like I've been doing, to watch this movie because I was so excited about him, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield. I knew I was gonna be making a Green Goblin cake. Here is my attempt. Let's see how I did. <laughs> so for this cake, I'm starting with my skull cake pan to create the Green Goblin face. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That cut is not straight at all. That... <laughs> I need like a ruler next time I do something like that. Now to create the top of the Green Goblin, I am using my egg cake pan because it's like the perfect shape. And I'm using another part of the egg mold to create the bottom of my Green Goblin. Now I made these at the same time I was making my Spider-Man cake, so this is a marble cake as well. I cut my cakes in half, added buttercream into the middle, and then, and then place on the second layer. This is where I screwed up a lot. <laughs> I thought that the skull cake mold would actually lend itself to the goblin shape, and you know, I thought maybe I would just have to carve a little bit, not too much, and so it turns out that I needed more muscle structure than I had originally thought. And so all of the muscle structure that I created with cake ball dough. So although I did use the skull cake mold as a base, I really created this goblin with cake ball dough. Look at that, see? That's all cake ball dough, that's crazy. Now after I finished that, I put my cake in the fridge to set. I rolled out my fondant and I placed it on top. Then I started to shape the green goblin. Now my sculpt is where I think I made the biggest mistakes. Now I started working on this cake when the trailer was released and there was only one shot with the Green Goblin in it. And it was this shot and he's like super small and then I only needed the portion with his face so it made it even like so much more blurry. Look how blurry that is, super blurry. When I saw this image, I thought that this mask was an updated version of the Green Goblin mask from the first Spider-Man movie. But it turns out that it's the exact same mask. It just looks different because it's blurry. So the sculpt that I created for this cake is a little different. I think the lines that I created are a little bit more organic and less rigid and sharp, which is how it's supposed to be. And also I didn't make his eye sockets deep enough, so I was like pushing that fondant into the cake like so. <laughs> You can see it tore right where his eyes are. After I finished creating the goblin face, I ripped off the excess fondant, molded them into goblin ears, and started to work on the rest of him. You know, it was pretty easy to create the rest of the mask. Just added black to the inside of his mouth, gave him some teeth, and then those signature yellow eyes. I started to add some makeup. In the image, it looks like there's like black eyeshadow at the bottom of his eyes. Um, it turns out that it's just the shadow coming from the sun. So this was a mistake I made. I added black eyeshadow to the bottom of his eyes. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it. I see it. I hate it. And after that, I added green luster dust to give this like metallic shine. I also realized that in the image his eyes are gold and not yellow, so I added gold luster dust to his eyes as well. After I finished highlighting all of his cheekbones and best features, voila, my Green Goblin cake was complete. What do you think? I think I did an okay job. Oh, I, I don't know. I made a lot of mistakes, but watching the footage back, I'm so very proud of this. Also, let's talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try to like ask you questions without spoiling the movie. Like, what do you guys think about the person that he killed? When that person said those lines in the burning building, I was like, you're gonna die? I can't believe they're gonna kill you. And they did. I was wearing my mask. 
I had my eyeglasses on and they were just like fogging up and I just, I just I couldn't handle it. It wouldn't have been as emotional if Willem Dafoe wasn't such a good villain. Now if you want to watch another Willem Dafoe movie, watch The Florida Project. It's rated R because they cause a lot of that movie. But it's one of my favorites and I think he's good in it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The next cakes I'll be working on are related to Boba Fett, Cinderella, and Monsters, Inc. If there are any cakes you'd like to see me create, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye.